India has always been a leader in digital transformation at population scale. I really believe ONDC is an idea whose time has come. ONDC or Open Network for Digital Commerce is India's next ambitious digital initiative after the success of UPI. UPI revolutionized digital payments in the country with platforms like Google Pay and Phone Pay gaining significant popularity. Similarly, ONDC holds the potential to bring about a transformative impact in the e-commerce sector. Contrary to the myths, ONDC, a government-backed organization, is not seeking to compete directly with the food delivery giants like Swiggy or Zomato or e-commerce platforms like Amazon or Flipkart. Shirish Joshi, the chief business officer of ONDC, clarified that their goal is not to capture a significant market share from these established players. Rather, ONDC aims to provide a competitive alternative for consumers without aiming to dominate the market share of existing players. Currently, only around 5-7% to of India's population engages in online shopping. This leaves a significant opportunity to bring the remaining 93-95% to into the digital fold. Despite the efforts of companies like Amazon and Flipkart, the majority of India's population has not made online purchases. ONDC aims to tap into this untapped market by leveraging the undigitized population, resulting in a substantial increase in e-commerce penetration, with a target of reaching 25% within two years. By introducing ONDC, India seeks to foster fair competition, prevent monopolistic practices and promote a more open and accessible environment for merchants and consumers alike. Unlike the approach taken by governments in the US and Europe, which primarily focuses on implementing laws and regulations to address the dominance of tech giants, India has chosen a tech-based solution supported by market forces and enabling regulations. ONDC follows a network-centric e-commerce model that relies on digital public goods. The goal of ONDC is to bring together 30 million sellers and 300 million shoppers onto its network by the end of 2024. Currently, the network has 36,000 sellers processing approximately 15,000 transactions daily. The sellers span across sectors including food and grocery, mobility, fashion, apparel, electronics and agricultural products like seeds and saplings. ONDC has the potential to contribute significantly to India's economy with estimates suggesting it could add about $60 billion to $80 billion by the year 2030. Furthermore, ONDC provides sellers with access to valuable data on buyer behavior Unlike platforms such as Amazon, Flipkart or Swiggy, which retain customer data. This enables the sellers to better understand and cater to their customers' needs, leading to improved service and potentially higher margins. However, there are several challenges that ONDC must address. Firstly, achieving scale is crucial for ONDC's success. The participation of all players is essential to generate the necessary scale. Currently, only Paytm and Snapdeal have aligned with the network. Secondly, ensuring a seamless user experience is important. Timely deliveries, refunds and exchanges are the areas where ONDC needs to focus to meet customer expectations. Thirdly, ONDC may face challenges in controlling the sale of certain items. Regulatory concerns arise in the sale of restricted items like asset where the network's ability to monitor and regulate sellers becomes important. Fourthly, the discovery of products on ONDC poses a challenge. ONDC may prioritize search results based on factors such as geographical proximity and popularity considering the number of previous purchases. Ultimately, the success of ONDC revolves around the buyers. Sellers will follow the buyer's preferences and demands. Adapting to changing customer behavior and embracing new platforms like ONDC is essential for businesses to stay relevant and thrive in the evolving digital landscape.